Yo, what is going on, guys? Got a hilarious video here from Men Only Wear entitled Modern Women Learn the Hard Way because they're getting exactly what they asked for. Guys, this was a video recommended to me by a man named Matrix of Madness. Um, I'll leave both of their channels linked in the video description. Let's get into it. We seriously need to bring back traditional values in this country, and I think it's so disgusting how many single men there are over the age of 30. Not even 30, like 35, 40, doing what? Working a job, slaving away to the government, giving into capitalism, and they think that's what matters. What truly matters is finding love and building a family. The idea that these men could... You know, we actually did that. We, we, we tried. Um, unfortunately, just nothing was good enough. Uh, the houses weren't good enough. Uh, the lifestyle wasn't good enough enough and so uh, you know what i mean it, it didn't matter how traditional you want to be you know yeah men have almost realized that trying to be the traditional man oftentimes gets you punished right how many times have we seen women say oh i just want a traditional guy who loves me and cares about me but they go out chasing the bad boy or they chase the guy who's super rich or the guy who's super tall Okay, men have kind of woken up to this. And if you're sitting here saying, well, why aren't men over 30 interested in dating? It's because they know how the game is played and they're not interested. They don't want to invest into modern women. We try to do the whole family thing. We try to, you know, have kids and have family and do all that jazz. And it just never worked out, you know, because we live in a society now where nothing's good enough yeah <laughs> no figure so now we'll go work our jobs we'll make our monies and we're gonna go do like what you said in the video we're gonna go golfing we're gonna play video games stay in our houses go to the gym travel we're gonna go do all those things because uh, you know what I mean? Um, we tried. You know what's funny? Is you have modern women say this crap of like, oh, why aren't men dating? Why aren't men participating anymore and courting me anymore? Right? But this is how sad things have gotten, right? If you give the average man a choice between his favorite video game and talking to an average 30-year-old woman, he's going to choose the video game, right? Because average 30-year-old women are completely unpleasant, guys, right? Women do not get to this age magically and they're still single just because they're victims of their horrible ex-boyfriend as much as they want you to believe that, right? You're going to have a very hard time convincing men to come back to you and put in effort when the whole time women have been treating men who put in effort like absolute crap, right? They don't, they don't even reward the behavior that they want. This is like having a woman who cooks for you, cares about you, she's really pretty, right? And then you just treat her like crap because some other woman cooked better food. And then you cry and complain later on. It makes no sense. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, we tried. We're not desirable. <laughs> so we're going to eat our fruit. And um, yeah, so keep up the good work. Women often talk about wanting a traditional man, but how many of them are truly willing to embrace traditional values themselves? The reality is that the system no longer protects men, and that's why so many men have stopped dating or looking for relationships. Yeah, I mean, on top, the cherry on top, right, is you try and get dudes to marry some of these women, for example, and oh, hell no. Like, a lot of guys are not interested in doing that because they know what awaits them when they try to marry modern women. Let's continue. Okay, so I'm headed to a first date right now. I love seeing TikToks where people are like talking about going on a date. So here we are. But um, yeah, I'm going on a first date. I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone. I've been single now for a few months um, and it has not been going well at all. It has not been going well. So we shall see how this goes. I'll keep y'all updated. I'm nervous because I don't know. I just feel so over love. If you watch the podcast, you know, I feel so over it. I feel so closed off to it, 
but I don't want to be that person that is bitter and I've been finding myself being bitter because my dating has not like not been going well like me trying to get out there it's not going well so fingers crossed we shall see how this goes this guy he's really cute he's not my normal type but um we met the other day we're gonna go out we're gonna get some drinks we're gonna hang out i can already tell you right away that this woman right here is not long-term relationship material at all right she's going out with the attractive guy that she met okay and, and guys, let's just be clear about this, okay? Women are only going on the dates, quote unquote dates, by the way, uh, with men that they find attractive, right? They'll go out and use some dude for free food if you're just an average man, right? They'll screw you around. They'll say maybe if you want to hang out with them. They'll say, yeah, I'll let you know. But the man who's attractive, oh yeah, she'll go out. She'll have drinks with him. She'll meet up with him instantly. Also, this woman has a podcast, guys. All of these... Women who teach about relationship stuff, right? Actually, I don't know if this woman teaches about relationship stuff, but she's certain, certainly sharing it, which makes me believe that she's some sort of female coach, right? They all have these podcasts, yet they can't keep a man. They can't keep a singular man, and they're out here with podcasts, right? And you might say, well, Taylor, a lot of guys have podcasts, and they don't have girlfriends. The difference is, guys, a lot of these relationships don't benefit the men. They benefit the women, right? Oh, why aren't the men married? I don't know, maybe because they don't want to lose all of their crap, for example. But let's continue on to the next clip. Okay, guys, I have a question, because this has happened to me multiple times. All right, I'll be more than happy to answer it. But just to be clear, I'm going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Okay? Okay, so start talking to a guy and he says all these really nice things. And then after months, it's like they wake up one morning and they're like, hmm, changed my mind. And they just kind of quit talking. And you're like, what just happened? I have no idea. Like, what is wrong with me? Does this happen to everybody? I don't know. I'm totally confused. But I This happens to a lot of modern women. I don't want to do this anymore. It sucks. I'm done. Like, done. Like, put me out the pasture. I'm done. All right, let's address it. And let me start off by saying, I mean, no ill will. I'm just trying to help you out and answer your question. And I'm going to be brutally honest with you, even though, as I said in the beginning, it's not what you want to hear, but it's what you need to hear. Now, we really don't have a lot of context to work with, but I feel pretty comfortable in saying one of two things is going on here. And both of them are the common mistakes that today's modern women make when dating. So you're not alone in this. In fact, you're the norm. The first mistake... Well, it's chasing the chads, chasing those super hot guys that fit in the top 5, 10, or 15%. The ones every woman wants, but only a few can get. At yeah, see so guys, whenever women tell these stories, like, oh, this guy, he just stopped talking to me. He ghosted me. Let me just make this clear. These women don't even have relationships with these men. Can you guys imagine if men were around here complaining, right? They were like... They were like, oh, yeah, you know, we had, um, we hung out a bunch of times, but then she just, she just stopped replying to me all of a sudden. The response would be that typically nobody cares, right? This is the average experience for men. Women don't reply to them. They don't talk to them. They ghost them all of the time. But it happens to women. And number one, it's the end of the world. And number two, they never even had a relationship with a guy to begin with. Isn't that crazy, guys? Like, they never had a relationship, and they're like, the guy clearly didn't want a relationship with them. And then they're sitting here saying, wait a minute, why did the guy stop talking to me? And notice, guys, always the women making this statement are incredibly unpleasant. At least in long-term relationships, that is. Now, those chats, well, they know how to play the game. They're going to tell you what you want to hear so they can string you along and get a little something-something as they do. But when that gets old or boring or they find somebody else to go after, they're going to toss you aside, stop talking to you, and just move on. So that's one possibility. The other possibility, and the one that might be a little bit more painful to hear, is that guys are figuring out after a while... You're not bringing anything to the table that they're looking for. You see? Yeah, see, I totally agree with that, guys, right? You have so many women who are sitting here saying, listen, like, I'm wife material. I'm girlfriend material. Why can't I find a boyfriend? But the thing is, clearly, the men don't find you to be relationship material at all. You know, 
as much as women want to think that, oh, men shouldn't have standards and it's bad for men to have standards, a lot of guys will not put up with women who are just straight up masculine and an absolute headache. Okay? Like, you, a lot of these women guys that we cover on this channel right here are straight up man repellent. They behave in such a way that makes dudes never want to talk to them. Like, absolutely not. Dudes would rather do anything else than talk to them. But let's continue to the next clip. Dating life is a joke. I was supposed to have a second date with someone who I was excited about. We met at Speed Dating almost a month ago, and he was traveling for a bit. We had our first date on Friday, and we had plans for a second date. We're on the phone discussing our potential second date and trying to figure out timing, and out of nowhere, he just happens to mention that um, he told his mom that he went on a date with someone who wasn't Jewish, and his mom was not happy. I said, oh, what do you mean? I thought you said you weren't that religious. He said, oh, I'm not that religious, but my family is very religious, and they always thought I was going to marry a nice Jewish girl. And then I don't say anything because I'm not Jewish. I don't plan to convert and I, I don't know what to say. So I just go, oh, okay. And then <laughs> he goes, yeah. So they just always thought I was going to marry a nice Jewish girl. I think they were just really, really thrown off since um, I've only dated Jewish girls before. So that's also when I realized that he has not dated another black woman. And so I'm just quiet on the phone because I'm processing a lot of things now. He tries to sort of dial back the conversation, keep it more lighthearted, try to plan our second date. Um, and I'm just like, I don't know if we, we need to have one. He goes, yeah, I mean, long term, I will have to marry someone Jewish. But like, we, if, we, if we get to that point, we can just sort of um, tackle it when we get there. Yeah, see, this is what modern women don't like, is they always want that, that um, possibility of marriage at the end, right? Chasing that thing that they'll never get because they're an absolute pain to be around, right? She's like, oh, well, you know... <laughs> And guys, I guarantee you, this, this woman has had casual encounters with other men, okay? But if you shatter the illusion for them, because these women, they think they're going to get married to Chad. They think they're going to get married to that attractive guy. You know what? I would not even be surprised, guys, if this guy wasn't even of the Jewish faith at all, and he was just talking nonsense because he didn't want to have a um, date this woman seriously, excuse me. Right, I, I would actually believe that if the guy came out and said, listen, I was just lying about this because I didn't want to date her. I mean, I would totally believe it. Right. I understand why men don't want to date these women, particularly the ones on TikTok as well. And I'm thinking like, no, I don't think so. I also asked how diverse his friend group is. I was like, OK, well, you said you're in this board game group. You said that you play this sport. Like what? How diverse is that friend group? And he says that while his group is not that diverse, no one is racist. And I was like, oh, I don't, I don't love that you just jumped to racism the second I asked how diverse your friend group was. Here's the thing. I mean, you're the one asking about race, but okay. Women have essentially created the very situation they now complain about. The good men who were once willing to invest in relationships, show genuine interest, and be decent partners have been driven to become Chads and Tyrones. Why? Because when they approached as nice guys, they were overlooked or dismissed. The reality is, these women set the stage for this transformation. When a man shows up as his authentic, kind, and respectful self, he's often ignored. But when he takes on the persona of a bad boy, suddenly, he gets the attention. It's like a twisted game where only the superficial and emotionally unavailable win. The sad part is, these women are now getting exactly what they asked for. A shallow fling instead of a meaningful connection. Yeah, I'm of the belief, guys, that, you know, all of these women will sit here and they will t try and tell you what they want. Um, and it will just be completely inaccurate, right? If you believe these modern women, they'll sit there and they'll be like, yeah, I just want a man who's nice and who's going to get me flowers and take me out on dates and everything like this but guys literally I, I just want to make this clear okay if you're like a traditional man and you want to bring flowers for example to a woman on a date these days she's going to think you're damn weird right dudes are not encouraged at all to have any sort of traditional behaviors you have traditional behaviors you just get thrown out here's another one for you guys right Let's just say you're a man and you haven't slept with anyone in your entire life. You're waiting until after marriage, right? Naturally, what's going to happen is if you go on dates with women, you're going to be very nervous. You're going to be jittery, probably. You're not going to be the most confident man because you haven't been on dates with many women before, you see. And you know what's going to happen? She's going to see that you're nervous, that you're acting weird, that you're a bit strange. And she's just going to go for the guy who's been on a million dates in his life and he's super comfortable with the thing.
right? You see what I'm saying is like, they will chase the guys who are pre-selected. They'll chase the guys who already have everything. They don't care about the guy who's not confident. They don't care about the guy who's not attractive, who doesn't make a lot of money. All of these guys are completely swept under the rug until these women hit 30. And then they try and turn around and look for a provider who's worked at least semi hard. You see what I'm saying? Dudes in 2024 are acting so fucking feminine. It's actually terrifying. Wait, I thought that some women were tired of masculinity and all the toxicity that comes with it. Yeah, I thought men were supposed to be feminine these days. You know, guys, before we continue with this, I want to tell you something that really frustrated me recently. I am a huge fan of Batman, right? Absolutely love the, the early Batman movies, right? Uh, me and my dad used to watch, watch them together when I was younger. And um, I love these movies so much. And I love just the, the ability that wokeism has, womanism, etc., whatever you want to call it, um, the message has to just completely ruin everything. I tried to watch the newest Batman cartoon the other day, and I didn't even get to, to watching it because they, gen they gender swapped a bunch of the villains. I, I think Commissioner Gordon is now a black woman or something like that. I don't know. I just didn't watch the damn thing. But I'm sorry. I thought everyone was uh, totally fine to inter interchange between masculine and feminine guys. I thought we needed more representation of feminine roles. I thought we needed men to be masculine. I mean, sorry, men to be feminine and females to be masculine. But notice how when it doesn't benefit the women, then they have a problem with it. Otherwise, guys, it's all like, yeah, diversity and inclusion and men need to act like women. But when they don't get what they want out of men anymore, then they complain that men act like women. You wonder why there are so many lesbians out here now? Well, this ought to be good. Well, I'll tell you why. Because you guys are acting feminine as fuck. Really? How so? If we want flowers, you want flowers. If we want you to take us shopping, you want us to take you shopping. This woman is masculine as hell. The reason why dudes are feminine around you is because you're weeding out the masculine ones. The masculine ones don't want to deal with you because you disgust them, to be honest. W women don't understand that this work. It's like a magnet, right? You know, you've got opposite poles here. If you're a woman and you're walking around behaving like a dude, the men who are actually masculine are going to ignore you. That's just how it works, right? It's, it's, a, it's a polarity. You can't be a masculine woman and expect to find a masculine man because he's not going to like you. You want to be treated like a woman. You want to be treated like a princess. Huh. You'd think that there'd be some women out there celebrating that some men are getting rather in touch with their feminine side. It is so creepy. I think that dating the same sex is becoming more frequent these days because of that, because we are dating feminine ass men. And so we're just switching right over. So if some men are deciding that they're going to no longer act in the stereotypical masculine ways in which so many women have complained about over the years, then some of those very same women are going to then start dating women because the men aren't acting masculine anymore. Make it make sense. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll let it make sense for you. <clears throat> These women don't like anything that doesn't benefit them. It doesn't matter if it's hypocritical or not. Okay, women will say that they want one thing, you give it to them, they realize it doesn't benefit them anymore, or it never did in the first place, and then they'll sit there and they'll complain about that exact same thing that they asked for. I mean, it's not rocket science, guys. It's kind of like these people that scream, oh yeah, I want equality, I want this, I want that. But for example, like, you know, you ask a woman to pay for a date these days, and she's going to be absolutely enraged by it, right? It's like, I thought we were all about equality. I thought we were all about strong and independent. Yeah, but they were only strong and independent. <clears throat> they, they still want men to pay for their crap, you see. It only goes one way. It can only benefit the women. Some people from your standard who you think are less attractive than others, right? In my perspective, yeah. If we were to go around the table, mm -hmm. can you go ahead and tell me based on those standards and rate each one of those women? I don't feel comfortable doing that. You're right. Every single time. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Can you rate Brian? According to what I like and what I'm attracted to, a seven. Yeah. A what? A seven. Okay, great. Now that you've done it with Brian, what would be the distinguishment for why you feel comfortable doing it to a man but not to a woman? Because me 
as a female, I'm attracted to men. I'm not attracted to women. It's yes, easier for me to just you saw that the out. subjective standard for what is attractive in women as well. Yeah, but like I said, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Only for the men. <laughs> You're totally not a feminist, right? You're totally not a feminist, but you it's feel fine okay. judging men, telling them to their face what you think the standard is. But when it comes to women, yeah, well, I just couldn't do that. That's a bridge too far, Andrew, right? Sure. It's wild how women... You know what's crazy about this, guys? This particular situation here is I guarantee you this woman judges her friends behind her back, right? She won't do it to their faces, but I, I guarantee you she knows where she stands and she will judge all of her quote-unquote friends behind their back, right? And this, this guy at the bottom, I don't know who this guy is. I've seen some clips of him. He seems fairly accurate in most of the things that he's said, at least that I've come across. Um... But yeah, people are perfectly fine judging men, treating men like trash or whatever the case may be. I don't even think it's treating someone like trash to say how, how attractive you think they are. I think a little bit of critical advice goes a long way, particularly for guys who maybe don't know where they stand or women who don't know where they stand. Um, but just, yeah, notice the double standard here where it's perfectly okay for people to judge men. But the moment you judge women, it's a terrible and awful thing. So let's continue on to the last clip of today's video as I find it here. Just give me a moment and uh, this will be bound to be good. Let's jump in. Men are so simple. So the way that you treat him will always matter more than what you think you're bringing to the table, whether that be your finances, your education, your cooking and cleaning skills. None of that can compare to treating that man right. So you can lose your man to a woman with no job, no education, no cooking or cleaning skills because she's got listening skills. She knows how to speak to him kindly, softly. She initiates the SEX. She shows him he is desired and she uplifts that man on a daily basis without him asking. You understand? That was pretty fire. I can, I can get behind a lot of what she just said right there. I've said this on the channel so many times before, guys, but like women come to these little interviews and talks and things, and they think that men give a damn <laughs> about their career. And they think that men should select them because they have X amount of money in their bank account. But they don't realize that men don't care about this crap, right? We don't, we don't care about any of these metrics that women think that we care about. And it's just so funny to me because you'll have a woman who's so masculine who's like, yeah, I've got a career in this field and here's what I do. And then the men are just sitting there like, man, I don't, I don't want that. I would take a woman who's broke over someone who's masculine and makes a lot of money. They don't care about what's in your bank account. It doesn't benefit the men anyway. Let's be honest, guys. These women aren't out here spending lots of money on dudes or looking after them in the long term, at least. Why wouldn't he choose her? Here's the thing. Men are very simple creatures when it comes down to it. We don't need much, just a little bit of respect and some kindness. And the truth is, if you give us that, we'll go to the ends of the earth for you. Yeah, maybe a little bit of gratitude as well goes a long way. I mean, there are dudes out there who will work their backside off to provide and care for their families. And all they need is a little bit of gratitude and someone who's not painful to be around. And that, that's all that men really desire. And I think it tells a lot, guys, that so many of these modern women are single. Um, but men require so little. From modern women there are so many dudes who are walking away from dating and yet men are the ones who require so little so riddle me that guys we're going to be leaving today's episode there don't forget to check out men only and matrix of madness i'm going to leave their channels linked in the video description and possibly the pinned comment as well if i remember but as always guys make sure you take care of yourselves and i'll be seeing you all in the next episode peace